tank. It's a middle-aged game. It's a middle middle French word, and uh, it's all. It means like a tree, because back in the days they used to make the balls out of wood, and they would like put uh, pork skin over the ball, just to give it more um, aerodynamism. And yeah, and that's how we came up with the name tank. So pet uncle in ancient French. Yeah, that's the origin of the name Petanque for you, my uh, viewers. The best at Petanque are the French. They invented that game. Look, all of those people are French. That's why they're so good. They're like calculating the circumference of the ball to be able to assess through a linear regression the point they got. It's very complicated, guys. Look at that. Look at, ooh, look at that. You see? That's a coup du rouleau. That's a technique invented in 1884 by Charles de Main. And that's, oh my God. Oh my God, guys. This is history in the making. Look, shooter, shooter. History in the making, history in the making. History in the making. You see, gotta, oh my God, look at the perfection. A useful thing that I can teach you is how to play that game. Arno did the presentation in, in French. Since we're in Canada, I think it's for uh, you know federal bilingualism. I'm gonna do the presentation of the game in English. You gotta look at those people. Those are Montreal people, Montreal citizens enjoying their time in, before the cold weather. <laughs> look at that. Shooting, shooting the cushionet, the cushionet or the cushionet with the English accent. So the question <laughs> is where you want to get the ball closer as possible. Look at, look at, uh, look at that gentleman. Whoop! Look at that, look at the perfection. Very close. It's gonna be very hard for the other team to get it. So, uh, when you're at the Petain game, and you know, it's a very psychological game because you, you know, it's not only about the, the strength or the ability, it's also about psychologically dominating your opponent. So first of all, sorry, I have a call. Somebody's calling me, Jesus. It's my mom. Hello, mama. Oh, play one. Best of three. Best of three. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. I won. I won. Fuck yeah, we won, bro. I told you. <laughs> Got a bend like that. Like, as you can see, people say we lost the first game. I'm just saying it's alternative facts. We won. You know why? Because I said so. It's the moral victory, man. Like the American in Iraq, it's not because facts says that we lost, that we actually lost. All right? We'll make a movie where an American soldiers might lose, okay? I understand it was complicated, but still, we're going to make great movies out of it. Look at the Vietnam War. Anyway. <laughs> Very magnanimous, exactly. Oh, F A U X dash R E B O N D. So you see the ball over there. So if it's over there, it's because Falk wanted to lead it next to the cochonnet. But it was a four rebound. Four rebound. There is a four rebound. It's gonna go all the way there. It's gonna make a false move to the ball. That's why he got over there. I think the moral of Petank is uh, it's a bit like what they what they say about McDonald's, right? McDonald's in France, you know. It's not I'm loving it. It's come as you are. And that's thing. That's what Petank is all about. It's about coming as you are and not trying to to play a game. But just be yourself and that's what matters and that's what's beautiful about this game you don't have to be strong you don't have to be pretty just have to be just have to have two hands and you can have a good time with your friends just need one hand and can come have fun with um with the people 
Ah, je vais The smooth one and the uh, not so cool one. Huh? So at first we're gonna measure with boots. Yeah, so I'm starting with my sandals. Sandals. Like this one. one, two, two. three, four. Okay, yeah, very precise. Uh, if the United States are looking at us, if we're organizing an election, you can see we have a very good system or a very reasonable government. I don't really believe in democracy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like Anakin in uh, <laughs> Star Wars. Got sliced up. We might have lost. I mean, in his case, he was half of his body, but whatever. We might have lost, but we won, morally speaking. Sadly, you know, as they say, history is written by the victor. I want to thank my mother. Like, I think that sand is coarse and gets everywhere. <laughs> Beyond meat burger. <laughs> I never said I was anti vegan. I just said, like, if you want to eat hamburger, you gotta be me. That's it. So, bro, I think uh, you and I, at, after the finals in winter, we gotta get in a plane. And we gotta go in Senegal to meet my uncle. Uh, so yeah, we I gotta talk to him. He's pretty hard to catch. He's on the run at the moment. So uh, I think he might be somewhere in the bush out there. So he starts in the morning with like a pack of Stella. Then uh, for lunch, like a uh, bottle of whiskey, you know, uh, Irish, preferably like. Uh, Campbell, some shit like that. And then at night, it's like two packs of cigarettes and a little bottle of sake. So the petang training has separated into your physical training during the day. So uh, it's not petang per se, it's just to you know, work on precision. So it's really dart, they play dart. And uh, every time they, 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 they don't put it in the middle, they have to drink. So you know, after like, maybe what they start at like nine, at like 9.30 everybody's drunk. So that's in the morning and then in the afternoon you have the actual petang training, you know, for his strength and things like that. So yeah, and uh, they play that in the bush with all his friends. Yeah, and we're gonna join him over there in the bush and uh, he's gonna train us for the whole summer. So I think 2004, 2005, after he ripped his arm, you know, like a, a coup, de, coup, de, coup de lapin. It's like, a, you know, technique in petang can very, it's like one of those prohibited things. It's very dangerous, like only masters can use this. magnanimous, exactly, and uh, yeah. And he ripped his arm and, and now he can't play, so he can only teach people like us who want to aspire to become great player. I hope the Reggie is not going to be mad, though. Check that out, bro. Great shot. Yeah, baby, she used to be my brush. She can uh, testify with the worst brush leader. What I mean by worst is the most lit. Most of that was high, you know, or drunk, or both. Good occasion for me to wear my tuxedo, but... I lost with two different teams, so now I became a coach. Like every bad football player, I became a good coach. And this is funny. Funny is a friend of mine. Uh, yeah. We were shooting a documentary about Pétain. Interesting. Joue bien! Comme ça, Pri! Comme ça, Pri! Honestly, get two types of Adderall, a bit of Valium, and should do the work. That's what I do. Yeah. They, they call it, they call it uh, doping or something like that. Uh, it's called managing, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, this is the end of the tournament, and uh, I have lost four games in total. So uh, it's okay, uh, I think that in life uh, what matters is not the truth, it's what you believe you did and even though factually I lost, I think I won because I made some friends and that's what matters. And uh, yeah, we'll stay tuned for uh, the next documentary, we'll shoot probably about uh, the provincial election. Thank you very much, bye bye! You know what they say, the end justifies the means. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe.